Hey team, well, I only sort of told you the truth. It was fully loaded. I started to make a video. I stumbled a bunch, and so I stopped it, finished unloading it, and then decided to do a review of the um, empty pack itself. So just for reference, this is the Deuter ACT Lite 65 Plus 10. Um, Deuter is a German company, and I bought this through REI. There's a couple of things on my pack that I put on there that are like design or... um. Oh, I can't think of the term, but they're not, they don't come with the thing. Like, I put a dinosaur claw tie on here, which, if you're real weight conscious, you wouldn't want. And then I've got a little button advertising my height club here. The Tandori Height Club Flying Horses. But otherwise, it's a standard pack, 65 liters. And then the plus 10 refers to this cool concept. This thing right here is a collar of, it's 10 liters, so it gives you an extra 10 if you fill it all the way up and you need some extra space. So, let's start at the bottom and work our way to the top. Here we've got a couple, at the very bottom, we've got a couple of lash points. If you need to lash anything to the bottom, I haven't yet, but I'm glad that they're there in case I wanted to bring a thick blanket or something like that. Run some um, bungee cord through there, hook it up to there ice axes, all that kind of stuff. There's a video out there someplace of a, I believe he's a Welsh gentleman, and he's got it all loaded to bear for winter, and he's definitely using these points. Then you've got the sleeping bag compartment, the bottom compartment. That, for me, fits a lot. It fits my enlightened equipment quilt, which is in this pile of stuff. Um, it fits my Thermarest sleeping pad, which is in there someplace, probably under, yeah, here it is. And it also will usually fit a sweatshirt, um, my REI fleece, another pair of pants, long underwear, whatever you need. You can usually fit all of that in here. It does offer the option of zipping the, the top panel out so it becomes just one large um, empty bag. I've not used that option, but it does exist should I need it. Then there's a pretty voluminous external um, mesh pocket and I usually use that for my water filter and um, toiletries toilet paper hand sanitizer things that I want to be able to reach quickly without having to dig I'll stick them in the back here um, that can expand quite a bit as well uh, and it does have an upper clasp looking at the sides real quick at the bottom both sides have one of these real small hip belt pockets now they are like I said pretty small can fit a cliff bar or a camera or um, I usually put a lighter in each one and then um, one will hold my trash bags one will hold the other things and then that attaches to the hip belt which you can actually tuck away and hide in there should you need it there it is in this area um, as a pretty big guy I do not hide it I keep it at its maximum extension so far and it works out pretty well for me the other side is a mirror image, same deal, also with the same option to hide things in that little pouch should you need to. Then on the sides as well, there is a um, pretty huge mesh beverage container. I can usually fit a liter Nalgene as well as a bag of peanuts or um, bug spray or suntan lotion or a knife or whatever you need in this, in this space. On this trip, I had um, bear spray, bug spray, and suntan lotion, plus my um, daily carry knife in one, and then a liter Nalgene bottle, and a bag of peanuts in the other. So lots of room there. More, um, more, guy out, or more lash out points for your um, trekking poles, I believe these are. Then the other side. Again, mirror of the first. Let's look inside the big pouch. So the big pouch is exactly that, a large pouch. Um, you can fit a ton of stuff in there. That's where the 65 liters comes from. Then there's the 10 liter collar. Give you some extra space if you need it. There is room for a hydration bladder. I took a four liter with me um, on this trip and it was great. Fits right into this pocket here and then you attach this through the loop at the top and you can hold it in place and there is a place right here for that hose to come out and you can choose which side you want to use it I always take it to the right because they have this um, 
this pouch for holding that nozzle and then I can come down to one of these points on the chest strap. Let's see, then looking at what touches the back, this is one of the things that really sets this, this pack apart. This is called the Very Quick System, and basically what it is is this is firm Velcro, and you can move the shoulder pads up or down depending on the height of the wearer. So I've got it set for me right now, fairly tall, but I would say a medium length torso, but I've had it for a, pr a friend who's very short, and a friend who's very tall who borrowed it and it's worked for both of them. Then these air contact um, strips kind of have a gelatinous squish to them and it keeps the weight of the pack from resting right on your back and making you extra sweaty. Although I get plenty sweaty um, even with these, they are a very nice addition. The hip belt material has the same, same deal. So that is a little bit about this pack. I really like it. Um, I haven't used a ton of other ones, but this is one of the few, okay, story time. This is one of the few where it actually fits me. So I'm a, a big guy, as I've mentioned a number of times. When I first bought this pack, the hip belt would not belt for me. Embarrassingly enough, I was too big for the hip belt to fit at all. And so I contacted Deuter USA out of Seattle, and they very generously sent me an extra length of strapping and um, suggested I, I find a luggage place or another outdoor retailer to attach it. Well, instead I started biking to work every day and eventually I was able to hook it. And fortunately I've maintained that since then and have been able to um, now wear this as intended. I'm almost getting to the point where I'll have to tighten it a small amount, very small amount, but so that was a, a mini success story for me. <laughs> but yeah, I've taken it on four trips so far this year to the Little Bookless Wilderness Study Area near Cameo, Colorado, to Big Dominguez Canyon, to Little Dominguez Canyon, and then this last weekend to the Turkey Flats Loop up on the uh, Fruta Division of the Grand Mesa National Forest. So it's worked in desert, it's worked in um, alpine. I haven't taken it up into the mountains just yet, but we're, we're gonna hit it up this year. So a um, couple other features. Uh, as I mentioned, they do have a way to secure your water bottle. And then I usually hang my camera from this, so it's uh, right on my chest, easy to access. But you could also use it for a water bottle thing or bear spray, which I did when I was in Glacier, um, that sort of thing. Then on the other side, where I've got my Tandoori Hike Club button, they have a small, small connection there. And, and that, this time, I uh, put a watch so I could see what, keep an eye on the time. It's got some load lifter straps that are, I find very convenient, and then this very strong um, carrying strap, which I use all the time. Oh, I don't think I mentioned the lid. Um, my only complaint is that the lid does not detach and become a day pack. That would be super fantastic. But that said, it is a pretty good item nonetheless. More points on the top for for corner um, of these things. And then there's a front top pocket with a I use this this time a key hook so that you can put your car keys on it and not have to worry about them this is my first time using it but um, I really like that then there is a slightly larger inside top hatch pocket pretty pretty sizable and it has a little bit of um, like self rescue things in a couple of different languages Alpine emergencies um, I don't have, I don't have this written down, but anyway, I think this is kind of, kind of cute. But yeah, so that's the, the idea behind that. So yeah, this is my Deuter ACT Lite 65 plus 10, the couple of, um, personal style points. And I really like it. I would recommend it. It is very comfortable to wear for long distances. So yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase. Um, but yeah, that should take care of it for now. Oh, and it did carry all of this gear <laughs> for an overnight. All, I just unpacked all of this, so all of that fit in there with no problems. So yeah, if you have any questions, drop me a line. Slothblog2k16 at gmail.com or just check me out at slowcurious.wordpress.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.